So I'm just going to film a sh quick little video because I couldn't find anything like this on the net so far and hopefully it'll be marginally helpful for people um, trying to disassemble their soda stream or if they need to. So this is familiar, right? You have the top. So the top pops off. You just have to be careful when you're going around because they have these little clips on here um, that you don't want to snap off. So I didn't snap any off, but you just have to be careful when you're going around popping it off. Okay, so then once you get that off, you still have this silver exterior to contend to, contend with, sorry. And though that, this might be hard to see. There's these little, you'll see it when you pop it apart. Yeah, you can see it there too. Not very well, but right in there, there's a little silver tab. I've bent it straight so that, that I can pop the sides off. And that's the only way to get at the screws to pop the black um, housing apart. So anyways, you pop the tabs. The, um, it kind of slides off more than pops off, kind of slides down. Because you'll see at the bottom there's a there's this flange where it curls over, so you kind of slide it down as you as it pops off, so that comes off. And then, and then you're left with um, there's five screws I believe I've taken them all out. One, two, so you just pop all those out, unscrew them, and then you'll be able to pop half of this housing off and get to everything inside and it's pretty pretty straightforward there once you've opened it up everything kind of just has little slots it pops into and whatnot so the problem I had was this guy here pressure relief relief valve just over time there's a little spring in here um, oh, oh, and this piece that's just barely poking out screws in and then there's a spring on the inside, I don't know if you can see that. There's one on the other side too. I believe it does the same thing, same, has the same function. There's two silver or two uh, kind of copper tops here, the metal tops that push down um, as well. You're just in that system, oops, in that system in there. Anyway, so I, for whatever reason, this just un unscrewed itself and popped apart so I had three pieces just kind of rattling around in here and then obviously when I went to put CO2 in, um, in water or whatnot it was just spilling out this this relief valve the whole time um, so I put some some um, th thread like pipe thread um, Teflon tape on there and screwed it back in I've also heard people talk about um, the pressure release valves going off too soon um, and I, I didn't do this myself, but I imagine, you know, swapping out those springs in there for stiffer springs would help help with that. But then again, you're gambling um, on the, that the whole system will take that pressure. So, uh, and that the bottle is not going to pop or break. Um, but anyways, just throwing that out there. So, yeah, um, other than that, it's pretty simple. Um, getting it back together, I haven't tried that yet. The only thing I think might be a pain in the butt is going to be the, the silver, uh, um, the stuff here. Um, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, and also there's a little spring in here that, that kind of pops off easily, so you just got to remember, make sure you put that back on before you close it up. And I don't know, hopefully that's helpful to somebody. Um, I wasn't sure how to get at the screws or anything or how easy it was, but... Yeah, just uh, go easy. So it went back on better than I thought it would. Or it was easier than I thought it would. Was going to be, rather. Um, and these are the little tabs I'm talking about. The ones you have to bend straight out in order to get the um, that silver covering off. There's a couple up there, one on each end. And then there's one for each side over here. 